In architecture, the term classical is used to refer to design that borrows from the Greek and Roman styles of antiquity, about 600 BC to 600 AD. Architecture of the Renaissance and beyond commonly features stylistic elements of classicism. The Swiss architecture firm Herzog et de Meron designed the Vitra House in Weil am Rhein, Germany. This unconventional building is a series of stacked archetypal home shapes that serve as a home furnishing and object museum. The Tempietto in Rome is a martyrium. Because of its circular form, classical elements, proportions, and dome, it's considered one of the most elegant and harmonious buildings of the Renaissance. Donato Bramante was the architect. It's likely that stained glass was accidentally discovered when earthen vessels were fired thousands of years ago. And it wasn't until the mid-12th century that stained glass windows created with molten sand, wood ash, and a variety of powdered metals became common. Stairs come in lots of shapes and sizes. They can be straight run, winding, switchback, curved, and spiral. The most important thing is that they're comfortable to use. Before the elevator, stairs were one of the largest considerations for the height of buildings. Architects follow rules. One rule of thumb is that a powder room organized in linear fashion should be a minimum of 6 feet 6 inches long. The toilet should also be placed a minimum of 18 inches center line from objects at either side. Columns are among some of the things that hold buildings up and they fascinated the architect from the beginning. Consequently, many authentic design interpretations and iterations of the column have been created over thousands of years.